Today I'm going to do a review of my build of the 650 scale TOS Klingon Battlecruiser right after this. Hi guys, my name is Jason Marshall and thank you for joining me on my channel where I share the tips, tricks, and techniques to help you become a better scale modeler. Uh, what do you say we uh, jump right into it? Alright, so here is a look at the Klingon D7 Battlecruiser, the overall look. Uh, I used Light Ghost Gray by a Model Master and uh, Pale Gray for the contrasting green, also from Model Master, Model Master Bolton Acrylic. There's not much to say, the assembly is pretty straightforward. Not much, uh, not much required as far as filling. Uh, in most cases, I just sanded the seams and then uh, then just smooth them out with uh, a wet sand or a thousand grit sandpaper. I did a little bit of weathering. Not much, not much. The uh, don't know how well that's going to play. There we go. A little bit over here. And uh, of course here. And the reason for that is that I actually somehow screwed up the decal. Uh, so I tried to hide a little bit and it didn't really work. But you know what? Live and learn. Live and learn. The, uh, all the decals are kit supplied. I'll flip it over here. And here's a look at the underside. Same thing, did a little bit of weathering uh, around the torpedo tube. And just some, just some general grime, just a little bit of streakiness. Another decal, which same thing. It's, uh, it's not quite silvering, but it's uh, apparent it's a decal. So I don't know what I did wrong there, but we'll get it better on the next one because I would love to build this kit again. And a couple things to be aware of. This is another spot that I kind of screwed up. Uh, these vents are way too high. They should be shimmy down the top of this or shimmy down here just a little bit more and the only other major change was with the chrome parts as you can see there's no chrome on here uh, because I soaked them all in bleach to strip the chrome plating off so I'd have clean plastic to uh, to paint and uh, the manufacturer of the model didn't have any chrome on it but there she is that's why playing on D7. Overall, very happy with it. Alright, so that's uh, gonna wrap up another one. Uh, I very much enjoyed building this model kit. Uh, my question to you is, have you built it and what are your thoughts on it? Please leave your answers in the comments section down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and the best way to never miss an episode is to subscribe to this channel. It should be a link up around here if you're on PC. Click down below if you're on mobile. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care.